Messi's free kick. Oh, it's a brilliant little Messi goal. That is world class. That is Messi class. That's above world class, Jerry. Now that we have already seen the first and second laws of motion, we need to move further to another remarkable one given by the same person. But before that, if you want to have a look at the first and second law, I have made videos on that as well. The link is there in the description. And now, moving on to the last of the three. This statement goes like, to every action, there is always opposed and equal reaction. Let's have a note of this and understand and observe. In simple words, Newton's third law says that to every action, there is equal and opposite reaction. For example, if you have two bodies and one of them is applying a force F on the other, the other one will be applying a force on it of same magnitude but opposite in direction. Now this will look a boring thing to memorize unless we see the proof of this law around, right? So let's look at the evidences of Newton's third law. Ships have fan-like structures at the back, which we actually call propellers. But what is their role? When these propellers rotate, they push the water back, which we can call as action force by the ship on the water. Now according to Newton's third law, the water should push the ship with a force of same magnitude but in opposite direction. right? And that is what happens, because of which the ship moves forward. Amazing, right? There are actually infinite examples you can get for this law. For example, in water, swimmers push the water back with their hands and in return, the water pushes them forward. You can call one of them as action and the other one as a reaction force. Similarly, when the bullet leaves a gun, it pushes the gun backwards. Because the gun applied a force on the bullet in forward direction, the bullet pushes it back with the same amount of force. Now put yourself to a test and answer this question. Earth is applying some force on moon, right? Let's say its magnitude is F. Is the moon also applying any force on the earth? If yes, then how much is its magnitude? less, more, very less. I think most of you are smart enough to get its answer. But anyway, at first let us pen down the properties of action-reaction pairs so that you cannot deviate from the concepts. The first property is both of them should be of same nature. What do we mean when we say same nature? It means that if the action force is gravitational force, then the reaction force should also be gravitational in nature. If the action force is electromagnetic in nature, then the reaction force should be an electromagnetic force. Right? The second point is, they are always equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. Very obvious. Third point is, 
they act on different bodies the action and reaction cannot act on the same body they should be on different bodies let us understand this with an example the apple falls on the earth because of the gravitational force of attraction right but oppositely the apple is also applying the same amount of force on the earth you can classify them as action and reaction pairs both are of same nature have same magnitude they are opposite in direction and of course they are acting on two different bodies right now if you look at the free body diagram of apple when it is detached from the tree there is a downward force acting on it correct because of which it accelerates downwards now the question is why earth doesn't accelerates upward because it is also acted upon by the same force in upward direction it's very easy to answer right since it has very very huge mass as compared to the apple for the same amount of force it will be having negligible acceleration correct now similarly the moon is applying the same force on the earth which the earth is applying on the moon both of them can be classified as action reaction pairs and that is why they are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction right now let's dig into what we started with whenever a footballer goes for a free kick or a corner kick he tries to kick it in such a way that the ball starts spinning in the air Now let's look at the air which will brush the surface of the football. The air which is coming from this end is flowing almost opposite to the surface of the ball, right? So it just slows down and goes further. Now the air which is coming this way is going to flow with the surface and finally it will be pushed by the ball. Correct? Now since the ball is pushing the air, the air will also push back the ball in opposite direction. right for the action there will be a reaction look closely now the ball was going this way right but it is now acted upon by a force in some other direction so what is going to happen it will take a curved path because of this reaction force amazing right This effect is actually called Magnus effect and if you want to see a better demonstration you can watch it on certain channels like Veritasium and how ridiculous they have performed it very well For now have a look at the spin of the ball once more Now if this video looks interesting to you do like share and subscribe and yes hit the bell icon for the notifications now if you have any doubt or queries you can drop a mail at slidescreen@gmail.com at